I want to talk about the complications of having your own staff in the Philippines. Um, this one relates to our yayas, nannies, whatever you want to call them. Um, the first one is so this girl was she was under 25. Um, after a few months, she realised she was pregnant. Didn't know she was pregnant at the time, um, but also it was even more complicated than that because she thought she was married but you know when we were discussing it with her and how it was done I think that the marriage was fake the first thing is because of her age she needed her parents consent something she hadn't even got so it looks like the whole marriage was a sham so here she is pregnant by a guy who says it's her husband at the same time we don't even think the marriage was real but anyway off she went the the next one was um, brought to her house by her mother. She was married to a husband that was a wife beater, who was jealous. Um, the mother basically brought her to work for us to separate her from the husband because she wasn't aware of it until she'd come, you know, the daughter would come home because they lived miles away. And when she did, it was... Basically, she threatened the, <laughs> threatened the husband and sent the daughter to come and work for us. Um, she was she was good, you know, good good worker. Um, but the problem she had, she had two of her own kids as well. Um, and then eventually, this guy is cleaning up his act, sorting everything out. So she's like, well, "Okay, I'm going to come home because she want he wanted her to go home." And he would go to Manila to work. He went to Manila to work. She quit her job and went home. And he didn't bother sending any money. Um, so that was nanny number two. Basically, she'd been talked to to quit and work by her husband after about a year. And then left with the two kids and no money because he's in Manila doing whatever he does. Um... So the the next one, the next one was with us a fair bit of time. That's I've talked about it before, where her, her parents encouraged her to stay home. Um, we turned her around actually over a period of time. You know, she wouldn't steal again. Uh, once she understood what you know the damage it does and the how much trust and respect she'd lost and all this sort of stuff. It changed her whole perspective because the fact is she wasn't valued by her own parents. So when we actually said, you know, like we're really shocked and explained that she is part of our family, you know, is not just an employee. Everybody who works for me is not an employee, they're an extended member of the family of some description because we look after everybody. Um Everybody gets, you know, we have a party or something, everybody has free food, etc. It's just the way we are. So when she was stealing from us, it was like a case of, well, you can go, but you're going to end up in jail at some point, or you can stay and rebuild your trust with us. She stayed, got a bit of education. Um, she started learning from the kids' school books and stuff because she never finished school herself and she had access to computers and things so she could you know study at night in her spare time etc but the odd thing was she then ran away with her lesbian girlfriend so that was the three yayas and then the ones we have now they're all they're related to my father-in-law <laughs> so we've got none of these complications um they're pretty good workers, and on top of that, you can trust them. Because um, I'm going to say, domestic workers can be an absolute headache if you're going to have them be aware that you may assume you can just trust somebody because you normally do, but a lot of the time you have to be very cautious because you don't know these people from Adam. Um, I know somebody else who fired the maid because um, he caught her stealing some stuff and then later on she their house was robbed and her cousin just happened to be the security guard that didn't see anything going on at the time but bearing in mind this isn't a ground floor 
place it's it's at least one two stories up and in a secure compound so somebody broke in without any issues um, or damage to the property and also didn't set the dog off either because um, there was a doberman in there as well which would mean they'd have to be pretty well known but they knew where the money was robbed it blah blah, blah but nobody can do anything typical usual stuff in the Philippines um, very hard to prove but also right in your face who did it and you know who did it <laughs> because it's so obvious um, alright thanks for watching